Working as a Microsoft Intune administrator, sometimes you may have situations whereby users bring their own personal device to the company and need to register that device with Microsoft Intune. Well, there are different methods in which users can register their personal device with Microsoft Intune, and one of those methods is by using the company portal. To use the company portal to register personal device with Microsoft Intune, you will need to go to Microsoft Store because the company portal is not installed by default on a Windows 10 or Windows 11 device. So here you need to search for company portal and then select it. At this moment, you can see it is not installed. So click Get. So by clicking get, it's going to download and install the company portal on this device. So what we need to do is to click open. And next, we need to enter a required email address. But mind you, you must make sure that that email address, your account or is already created in Azure Active Directory. And also, you also have the Intune license to be able to register your personal device with Microsoft Intune. So click next and then enter your password and then click sign in. So by clicking sign in, you can, you can see it says stay signed into all your apps, allow my organization to manage my device, click OK. So let's just wait for this to get registered and then we can now verify if this device has been registered with Intune. Now it says you have we have added your account successfully so click done so by clicking done it's going to actually load you can see i've already con configured my company portal and that's my device name and here we go it's trying to actually ch check if for example if there are policies applied to that device of course all the policies will be applied immediately so let's go back to our to microsoft intune to verify if this device had been registered but mind you first of all i want to do the following if i go to command prompt and I say um, host name. Here you can see the host name of this device, which is PC001. So let's go to Microsoft Intune and verify. At this moment, you can see in Microsoft Intune, in Windows devices, the device is not listed here. So what we need to do is to actually do a refresh. So by doing a refresh, it may take some minutes for the device to be listed here, but let's just wait for that device. So in Microsoft Intune, you can see on our Windows devices that the device is not listed here. So when we do a refresh, it might actually take some time for the device to be listed in Microsoft Intune. But if I go to, let's go to Azure Active Directory, that is the um, intra ID. Here you can see, if I do a refresh, here you can see my device is actually the BC001, which is being managed by Microsoft Intune. I don't want to say compliant is yes, so which means that the device has been registered, and you can see it says Microsoft Entra registered. So if I go back again to Intune and I do a refresh, so let's just wait for some seconds for this to get um, to be available in Intune. So after some time, you can now see that the device, when, when I did a lot of refresh, you can now see that the device is now in Intune and the ownership is personal, it is compliant and it is a Windows operating system and the primary user that is Kelvin Johnson. So that is, that is how you will register a personal device to Microsoft Intune using the company portal.